Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today to continue with my vintage botanical junk journal. And I'm going to be adding the book plate. So, which one's it going to be? Let's put them in order they were on in picture. On the community post where I asked for your opinions on which one I should use. Uh, now, a lot of people have said this one. I was favouring that one at one point. Uh, this one, yes, yeah, some of you have said that one. I mean, each one, I, when I look at them on their own, it's it's one of that. I think any one of them will go on here. Yeah, that one didn't win, so we'll bin that. Well, we're not binning it. I'll save it for another journal. Just put it over to one side. So which one's winning? Well, it's this top one. That's had 40% of votes, and that one's had 38% as I film this, which is, what time are we on? Uh, oh, it's like nearly six o'clock. I best crack on or this video will be up at midnight again. So, yeah, this one's won. And, yeah, I'm going to use it. I was thinking this one would be better because it matched my clip. But in the journal, I've used different colour eyelets, Brad's charms. So, I don't really think that's an issue. It's not mega matchy-matchy. And if I were going to glue it on like i initially said i were going to this one would be better because there's a lot more surface area to glue it on but i have rethunk i've rethunk <laughs> i've rethunk that and i am going to fasten it on with the brads because i do have another page of this and i i can just put, I put some over yeah i can put a little pocket over yeah so my intention now is i will fasten it on with brads and I will just put a pocket made from that paper there. I will also do a stack pocket to fasten on with a clip. So the little pocket made with the blue paper will be hiding under the stack pocket. I hope you get that. I hope that made sense. Right, so first things first, we'll put this on. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these signatures out. I have noticed with taking them in and out to do different bits... This page here made out of just the wrapping paper. The top is starting to get a little bit damaged. Right, and I think that's down to, well, I know it's down to the fact that it's an elastic binding and that it's wrapping paper. There might be two layers of it, but at the end of the day, it's very thin wrapping paper. So to avoid damaging that any further, I'll finish working on it with my signatures out of the journal. And before I put it back in, I think I'm going to put some washi tape just there and just there, just to protect it. I don't think that'll interfere with the look of it. In fact, that's what would happen if, yeah, if you'd had this book for 100 years and the top were getting damaged, you'd, you'd repair it, wouldn't you, with some tape, book tape, whatever tape. So that's two out and three out. I do love that. I do love that, yeah. I did good on that tea day in. Yes, yeah, someone did ask me in comments uh, how I did that tea day in. Um, I didn't link a particular video because there are lots and lots of people who have done that kind of tea day in. And you get that effect by layering up your tea dyed papers as you dip them in your tea or squirt them with your tea, coffee, whatever you use. I do tend to find I get better images if I mix a bit of tea and coffee together. And then you layer it up in your pan that you're going to let it dry in, not that you're going to put it in the oven in, because you're going to layer up plastic doilies and papers, and it leaves that impression as it dries. I don't know the science behind it, I just know, yeah, it works. Sometimes it works better than others, probably because I don't know the science behind it, but I, d I don't want it perfect when I do it. Yeah, if you want it perfect, then yeah, more power to you. <laughs> don't know where that come from. Right, let's get this book plate on and shut up. Right, before I put it on, we need to put a word in it. Now, I could do another poll on this, but I'm not going to. I've printed out this. Field notes, field diary nature notes. Now, this is a laid textured paper. These are ones I used to use for a lot of my cards. So, <laughs> that's best wishes. We don't want best wishes. And I've printed it in, the font is called Papyrus. And the size, I've done it 18 in bold, if you want to do one. Now, my laser printer is a cheap and cheerful. It cost me 30 quid. I just use it for doing my postage labels for Etsy. So that if uh, postman's out in rain, your address is not going to wash off. 
Now the top one for some reason is not printed properly, it's a bit bitty. But that's the style of the font anyway. But I don't know if I think I like that even more because it's, I don't know. But I think I might just go for Field Diary for, or Nature Notes. I don't know, I might call it Nature Notes. I don't think Edith Olden has copyrighted that uh, phrase, has she? I don't think she could. So I think I've landed on Nature Notes, yeah? So there we go. When I'm deciding how big to do it, uh, I don't know if it's, I think it's the same in Word. I don't use Microsoft Word. I find the free one online is okay when I need it, but the, there's not many fonts. I use a program called LibreOffice, L-I-B-R-E. It's free and it's fully interchangeable with Microsoft Word and it's free. Did I mention it was free? Yeah. I'm not paying six, ten quid a month to Microsoft for Office. Get away with you. I'm very frugal. It must be the Yorkshire in me. Right, so yeah, I like that. Now I've got to decide how... I'm, I am going to cut it, obviously. It's not going to go on like that, although it could. It might start a new trend. I think I do need to age that up a little bit. So what ink shall I use? I'm going to get my brush for starters. Yeah, it's my makeup brush. And I think I'll test that colour. Let's see what it looks like over the field notes one. I'm saying that colour. The colour is whatever colour happens to be on my brush from last time I used it. That's that's all I need to do. I only ever use it with Vintage Photo and Walnut Stain, so this is likely a mix of the two. I think this laid paper has not liked going through my laser printer too much. And bits of it, it's not bonded to the paper properly, but do you know what? I'm going to call that a happy accident, just like Bob Ross does. Oh, I finally got around to watching the Bob Ross documentary and do you know what? It's amazing and it's sad and I just felt so sorry for the man, really. But Right, so we need to cut this down. I don't have an oval punch right size. I haven't a clue how I lasted this when I were doing an oval. Do you know what? I'm going to draw around that bit and I'm going to draw around that bit and I'm just going to put a little mark there <laughs> and there and there and there so that should give me a bit of an idea of the oval I'm going for and I'm just going to wing it if it goes wrong I'll print it again Don't ever not do something for fear of it going wrong. I know I want to go just inside this one. And just inside that one. Because the markers I've used are on the outside. Does that make any sense whatsoever? I mean, this might go wrong. I might, I might, yeah, we'll see, won't we? Ooh. That's best oval ever that. Well, I need to trim a few bits off, it would appear. I need to trim some off there and some off the top there. Oh, sorry about noise that made. I threw that down rather unceremoniously, didn't I? And was it here? I don't know. Let's try it again. I can just still see some at the top that I don't want to see. I've done it again. I put it down really noisily and clattery. Sorry. If you're chilling watching this in bed, I'm sorry. I'm just noisy. Yeah, I'm happy with that now. Really happy. I think it's as aged as it needs to be. I think if I rub it much more with that brush, I might rub the words off. But I like that the words are a bit rubbed off. We love a happy accident. We do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the paper to that. Yeah. I could put something over to protect it. But because it's not going to run if you get 
any water on it because I've done it on my laser printer. I think we're more worried with it rubbing off altogether. But as I have now rubbed it with a brush, I don't think it's going to rub off any more than it did, is it? There we go. Right, let's glue it on. And I'm going to use uh, art glitter. I don't think I need to crack out the glossy accents that takes three years to dry or the E6000 that takes my breath away, even the low odour one. And yeah, it's, it's, it'll all be good. It'll be right, as they say. <laughs> and I'm going to put the glue on here. Right, now, we could have recessed that in there, but I like the look of it being, I like the shadow. I like the look. Also, I would have had to be much more precise cutting an oval, wouldn't I? I'd have wanted it recessed. So it's going like this. I'm also going to glue it to the book. I like to glue it on here in case this moves slightly as I'm attaching it to the book. Sorry, I'm not sure. Yeah, whatever. Like we asked you. So, pop that on. Looking good. Straight enough. Straighter than a donkey's iron leg. So I'm just going to leave that to dry up a little bit. As you can see, I've got glue everywhere, but it really doesn't matter. Right, <clears throat> get my book now. That is the front. Should have marked my holes, shouldn't I? Should have marked my holes before I went sticking glue on there. What's chances of me finding packet with others in? Because I did have two more identical ones. Do you think them chances are good or pretty slim? Tell you what, I'll pause, let glue dry and come back. Right, my glue's nearly dry, so I've thought, yeah, I can be going on with pocket corner, yeah? There's no need to sit here twiddling my thumbs for 10 minutes waiting for glue to dry. So, there we go, it's drying, put it out of the way. All right, I've grabbed this paper. This was the other end paper, weren't it? We used one to cover the middle and make that pocket and I had this spare so I am going to make just one large pocket a really large one yeah it'll be hidden by the other pocket we're clipping so grab your trimmer and cut it down missus I just want to cut this janky edge off I don't know what size pocket's going to be it'll be whatever size it ends up being when I've trimmed this piece of paper so it's it's to be honest as wide as the book yeah which i'm quite happy with i can live with that yeah i think i need to cut the height down a little bit because for some reason it's somehow a bit shorter just a smidgen and we also need to be able to get a tab on the top so i'm gonna cut I'm going to cut an inch and a half off so that it's not the full height. There we go. We can use that little pretty piece for something else. So, it would be good if that matched up, but I don't think it will. Nah. Nearly. And I'm going to grab my circle punch. I'm using my big one again. My two and a half one, and I'm just going to put a semicircle in the top. Oh, I was worried that weren't going to work then. I was worried paper was too thin. It's just left a little notch there that I need to snip off. There we go, and let's get inking it. We need another dip in the ink. Whatever you're fitting is not going to be full width at page because we've obviously got to glue that down. But you'll get something pretty decent in. I like hidden pockets and hidden things. Things that you don't know are there initially. I'd, you know, I'd love to go to an old stately home that has hidden corridors and, yeah, and discover them, but yeah, I don't know of anywhere you're allowed to 
go in any hidden corridors. Maybe it's a myth. Maybe old houses don't have hidden corridors. And I want one of those, you know, where you've got the uh, bank of library shelves. You press a button and it moves to one side. And yeah, you've got a yeah hidden corridor. <laughs> I don't know if anything like that exists other than in my head and a Hollywood film. And I'm just... Is that okay inking? I like that inking. Right. And I'm going to glue it on with art glitter. It'll dry quickish. And it shouldn't wrinkle this. We did the other side with art glitter and it didn't wrinkle. I have had the pin in. I've only left it out for three seconds. There we go. Don't get it where you don't want it, woman. Like on your elastic. You could always change it. Whee. Right. Pop that on. I'll start at the bottom. Yeah, you're in shot. Line that corner up. Line that left edge up. That looks good. Good. So, yeah, I like that. Oh, you silly woman. What were you supposed to do before you stuck that on? What were you supposed to do before you stuck... You were supposed to put your book plate on. So before glue dries, take it off. Take it off. I bet people were screaming at me there, weren't they? They're like, no, don't glue it on. You've not done your book plate. I thought I heard some it. There you go. World didn't end. What a numpty. Right, let's pretend that never happened. I could cut it out, but that would mean editing and that would be far too much like hard work. It really would. And, yeah. As you see, it's it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Crackers. Right, the glue's dried there now. So, I think... Will I do it by eye? Yeah, I'm just going to do it by eye. If it's not level, it's not level. Right. What I've got to decide now is, do I want it central on the book or central on the brown part? I think I want it central on the brown part. That looks better to my eye, if you get what I mean. Equal amount of space-ish there. And for me to get it straight-ish, I need to look at it that way. That looks straight-ish. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Right, I'm going to grab some... Here we go. Some glue book. Glue book stabbing book. <laughs> right. I am not going to mark it and then make holes. I'm just going to get my brad all and I'm just going to just go straight through with it. Yeah, no messing. Brad all, here we come. Yeah, that's got to be... Do you know, I am still doubting the straightness of that so I'm just going to have to lightly put my T ruler across it's pretty not straight is it that's better yeah, that's better so I'm just going to hold it still and stabby stabby there we go I hope I've got a front at book and not back the way I'm performing today, there's every chance I've put it up wrong side at book. But we shall see. Of course I got it on the right side at book. Why would I ever doubt myself? <laughs> Probably because I just tried gluing the pocket on too early. So that's going to go there. Just going to make sure these holes are poked enough, you know, because I went through the paper. Smooth that down. There we go. Right, I need to get the little brads that came in the packet. So, grab the packet. 
found them. I knew I, I, wouldn't, I knew I'd not got a clue where I'd put them, and we could be three days looking. Right, these are my last two brads in the packet. They look roughly the same colour to me. Uh, there should be more brads in the packet, but there aren't, so I've obviously lost some. Not a problem, because I do also somewhere have a jar of these little Tim Holtz brads, but look at them, how cute are they? They just look so good. So I'll pop them through there, and I'll pop them through the holes. Yeah, the holes are big enough. Sorry, I had to pull that away from the camera. So that's, that's straight enough. Turn it over and open up these legs. There's various ways of doing that. You can do it with your thumb and risk <laughs> hurting yourself. That's how I like to do it. I think you can even get tools for doing this. There we go. I want mine facing sideways. Because so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of paper over there. Let's just check that my pocket's going to cover them up. It should do its tall. Yeah, of course it is. And I think I'll use a piece of this. Yeah, what I printed my field notes label on. Yep, there we go. I like to use something not too thick or it leaves too much of a lip. But I don't like to use just copy paper or the Brad's mine. Yeah, they might uh, poke through. I think that will be spot on. So, I'm going to use my da -da, Crafter's Companion Ultimate Tape Glue Runner, whatever it's called. Oops, I've lost glue on it. That's it. It don't want to roll. Because there's no glue on that bit, that's why. If that happens to you, just utch it along till you've got glue on that leading edge. There we go. It normally happens when I've stuck it to something. Because <laughs> I've not put lid on. Why would I put lid on? Why on earth would I put lid on anything? I'm like that when I cook. End up with a dozen things in the kitchen with no lids on. No, before you stick it on. <sighs> wow. Put a bit of art glitter out edge. There you go. I'm rushing ahead with this, aren't I, today? I'm not taking my time and thinking it through. I'll put a little disclaimer at the <laughs> beginning of the video because I know a few people are crafting along with me. Do not make the same mistake I made sticking the pocket on too early. Have I stuck that? Yeah. Oh, I've just stuck it low enough down. Spot on. Right. Put some glue back on here. And let's stick this pocket on like we've never stuck it on before. It's a good job I'd put plenty of art glitter glue on or I would have never been able to peel that off. It just would not have happened. If I'd put a really fine bead on. But because this was going to be one long pocket, I did put plenty on. It's a good job I did. It's a bit of paper. Yeah, that needs to come off. There we go. So, let's stick it on just like we did first time, eh? Line that bottom left corner up and that edge. There we go. You'd never know it had been stuck on and took off and stuck on again. So, there we have the book plate on and the inside pocket. Right, I'm going to leave it there for this video. Yep, so we now have our inside front pocket and our book plate on. And I, I quite, I do like that. I know there's people who might, <laughs> I did have one comment for, thank you Roberta, I can always rely on you to be, uh, tell it how it is. 
she'd put why on earth would you want to use a fancy book plate you said it was going to be a plain journal well it started off a plain journal didn't it but then i keep adding more and more bits and it's it will be what it will be yeah it's yeah it's got a little bit fancier than i first intended it to be but i'm still loving the way it's going and like i've said many times i am a woman it's my prerogative to change my mind <laughs> and i do it often ask my kids so i hope you enjoyed that i hope you I hope you learnt something and I hope you learnt what not to do, yeah? So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.